all share index is not showing any sign of slowing down last week we saw when the market dip and if you've been my fan you see when i told you guys here that it is time to take profit i posted here that's two weeks ago i said it is time to what to take profit and if you watch most of my videos i lay emphasis on it and i did this five days ago also after i said is this pullback or pullback that was a little push and yeah i stated it that it is time to take profit but a lot of you don't follow this instruction that's why the fact that i've been telling my members to keep taking profit before this dip and right now we see what happens to the market so we saw some deep and right now we see what the market is doing so let's move to the all share index and now we saw another push up so the question now is is this a second opportunity for you to take profit before we get a heavy push down or this is just another momentum for a push up so these questions will be answered in individual stocks because don't forget as the all share index is going up some stocks are coming down and as all share index is coming down some stocks are actually going up because when we experience this dip because when we experience this dip here which is for two days we saw it for two days day one and day two and we got back to this point some stocks actually we are going up stocks like um dango testament stocks like seplat a lot of them are still going up you know those ones are um bigger boys you know those are the people that are actually trading such stocks because by the time you sink in 500 million so into those stocks they will still maintain their stand so if we look at the weekly to see what the all share index is always is currently doing so if this is another opportunity for you to take profit i want to beg you you don't want to be in a situation where you actually make money and you become a storyteller saying that ah there was a year that the all share index that all stocks were just going up i made money but i didn't take profit and the market took everything back so i don't want you to be a storyteller so be wise and that is why you need a community where there will be a proper guidance on how to do things so it's left for you to implement such um, advice so there are some few stocks that did well and if you check the ngs right now you see a lot of company reports uh are coming out you see that of um mutual benefits you see that of um okay uh, these ones are just okay these ones uh, fidelity bank correction to the q4 so maybe they made mistake in the first one so you see a lot of people more are still coming but one of the results one of the key information we are still waiting for uh corporate disclosure so we are expecting um these companies to start to tell us what they want to pay but from their earnings per share you want to see uh based on their um, character for in terms of dividends you want to predict or you want to project how much they will be able to of course some companies will actually surprise us so those are the surprises that we want to see that will actually push the all share index upward don't forget the all share index just track the overall market so it's not giving you a blueprint of um individual stocks it's just giving you an overview so don't think that when the all share index is coming down and all the old stocks will come down no as long as we have um, good volume um, in the market it must always go up and it's just left for you to use that um, to actually guide you and know when you should take profit um, for example you, you can take profit and uh, after one week two weeks the market will pull back imagine if you've taken profit and these two days the market just pull back and you enter again that is how you multiply and you compound money for those who are not long time if you are long time you can sit down with your portfolio and be celebrating your 100 percent or your 200 percent and you're earning your dividends or 400 percent you can be there so if the market dips back 50 percent you are not bothered because maybe you are 300 percent before if the market did 50 percent you're still there 250 but people are just coming now they actually just need 50 percent here 100 percent here 200 percent here and they make cool money and they circle it back into real estate or any project that they have so we're waiting for their um, um dividends announcement so that is why you want to be in in the right stock 
because if you check when the market bounce there are some stocks that actually bounce faster so those are some stocks that they've released their results and investors have that sentiment that okay this stock will actually do well one of the stocks that has been uh, trending fine uh if we look at the top gainers and uh, the top gainers is actually transcom so transcom is hot cake so when we come here and look for transcom so this is transcom here so you see uh we're looking at the weekly so on the weekly transcom is actually down but if you go for daily we we'll see the whole of transcom that it pull back so guys this is massive opportunity pull back to 11 pull back to 1140 and now went up to 1540 that is good numbers guy good numbers so if we say 1140 that's uh, 1240 1340 and uh, 1540 that's like three nera so imagine you have um 10 million shares that's 30 million and imagine you have 1 million shares that's 3 million guys so the opportunity is just too much in the market and this is where we are right now and um I think the new support for transcom will be around this region so it's going to play around there before coming down to this place or before going up depending on the catalyst and depending on the news that will actually happen in the market so another one another stocks that did massively well is nemit international they did 10 percent three stocks actually did 10 percent so let's check nemit and see what we are getting from nemit based on the chart so this is what is happening this is name it for you uh this is daily so this is daily and uh, this is the support region here so this is a support so let me go to this play before coming down and the all-time high is all is actually 291 that's 291 let me see let's close this okay it's actually 291 and that happened 2020 that's november ending of 2020 that's what that's when that happened and now we are still here so that's another one for you which is name it so if we come to this place and see sterling bank actually did 10 percent so sterling is actually killing it in the market so that's telling bank uh, i think uh, let's check okay, let's check if um so they've actually released their results so which is a good one So Sterling experienced a massive dip before we seen the market coming back. So this area has always served as a form of um, support here, but right now it's serving as resistant. So let's see if um, Fidelity, sorry, let's see if Sterling back, maybe because I'm using Fidelity, I, I almost called this one Fidelity. <laughs> So let's see what Sterling Bank will do. It actually gained 10%. Don't forget that whatever I say here is not a buy, sell, or hold recommendation. I just want to update you guys what is happening in the market. And if you're smart, you can actually see the opportunities available for you. But always invest what you can afford to lose. Ensure you talk to a financial advisor before you dump your money into any of these stocks. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so that you get notified to my post enriching videos like this. So you can come and check my previous video and see my thoughts about the market. And guys, I bet you, you will never miss it. I always get it right. So far. So far. So far. And um, God has been helping us. Uh, we've been getting it in our community. We've been eating it big. And uh, that is why I'm inviting you guys we are actually having a meeting tomorrow, which is our monthly meeting. Um, this is it, um, how to sell the top and how to buy the bottom like a professional. So that is what we want to do. And um, if you are interested in our stock secret society, you can also click the link. Uh, the link is here. You can click the link and join us. And it will be happening February, that is on Sunday. 
and the time is 6 p.m. and yours truly will be the one taking our community to the next level so that we'll always set the top and always buy the bottom. So this is uh, our masterclass. We hold it every month and if you, I try to highlight some of the um, services you will get for joining my community, which is just 300,000 Naira. And if you join, you'll be able to make more than that of the money. I've gotten that as gifts. I've gotten fund as gift from members. So that tells you that we are actually printing money. And don't forget, we don't only talk about Nigerian stocks. Opportunities to make money in the foreign stocks. Like last week, we made 100% from a stocks. And uh, last two weeks ago, we made another 100% from two stocks. So if you combine everything together, we've actually made... 300% from those um, stocks and uh, we still have other stocks that we've taken position and we are hopeful that we're going to kill it also. We're going to do 100% from those stocks. So we also do portfolio analysis whereby I teach you how to position your portfolio so that you become a rock solid portfolio. Even when the market is dipping, you will not be worried. Even though your coin, even though your stocks is dipping, you will not be worried because you know why you bought it and you know that the stock will always bounce back. We also do monthly masterclass, which we're having this one on Sunday, February 4th. Uh, we're doing it 6 p.m. Um, for the first 45 minutes, I teach. And um, I give my stocks that I think they are going to do well. That they're going to give us any stock I pick. I always look out for 50% minimum and 100% maximum. But after 100%, you can hold on. But me personally, I sell and I tell my community to sell. But if you desire to still hold for 150%, 200%, that's fine. So I sell and I quickly take position in other stocks that are still down. So that I will not miss out in those stocks while waiting for maybe another additional 50 or 100 percent, which might not likely come to pass. So that is how we do it. Then we also do market research. So I research this project every month and I share it with community where I think the market is going based on data, not based on my heart or passion, based on data and based on information and based on current policies in the government. And based, uh, and based on some insider information that we are opportunity to get. So these are what we've been using to actually make more money. And one great thing you need to know, you will be having opportunity to network, to meet great individual in the market. And as we grow, we're planning also to have meetup in Lagos and Abuja because these are the two areas most of my community members reside. So that is what we want to do so come join us and enjoy this percentage we're doing another thing i want to encourage you also i want to thank you guys we just surpassed three thousand subscribers that is a huge one for us and i know when we hit two thousand subscribers we were supposed to do a meeting we we're supposed to do a meeting a master class where i'm going to teach for free where i'm going to pour my heart for you guys for being my followers but fortunately or unfortunately we couldn't hold that meeting but let's keep going maybe when we get to 5,000 followers we are going to have a massive party and also are going to do a giveaway for those faithful fans so keep commenting keep liking my videos and keep sharing my videos so for because of the fee of joining this community you have to pay 300,000 naira for a year for you to be my community member and for the crypto community uh, we meet weekly also we charge five hundred dollar for that one because the opportunity to make more money in crypto is more than stocks because in crypto you can do 10x you can do 15x you can do 5x 2x or 3x in crypto is so easy it's so easy to get but in stocks market you have to do good research and you have to have good catalysts that will bring it to fruition so for those of us that have been faithful I have a community, I have a membership here. So this membership is for 20,000 Naira a month. So one opportunity you get for this membership is when we meet in our community, I record the, the teachings, conversation, and um, our stock for the month. I record it. And once you become a member here, because maybe you don't have the 300,000. So once you become a member with 20,000 for a month, 
you'll be able to watch this replay. So the least advantage is you won't be in the Telegram community where we discuss every day and where we say, okay, this is time to sell, this is time to buy. You might not be opportune to get those information. And also, you might not be opportune to ask questions because you are watching a replay. But maybe somebody there will ask a question that you want to ask and I'll give explanation on that. You'll be opportune to get that information. So that is my own way of saying, okay, for you being my followers, let me not use that money because some of you are just coming up and some of you are just learning. So don't let money stop you. Try to invest in yourself. I bet you we've had more than um, seven master classes. And by the time you watch those seven master classes, I think you must have equipped yourself with good knowledge and you'll be able to navigate the market. And by the time you make cool money, you're able to join us so that you can see how to multiply your money and how to actually double your portfolio in a short while. Because if you have 1 million Naira and you double your portfolio every quarter, by the end of the year, your 1 million will become 16 million. And if you now add compounding into it, we are looking at more than 40 million Naira in a year. That is mind blowing. Turning 1 million to 40 million is mind blowing, but it's doable in the market. And if you join that challenge also, that will be amazing. We will see how we can take advantage of that also. That will be happening on the March. I'll be starting that 1st of March. So our target is from 1st of March to 1st of March 2025. We want to see how we can turn a million Naira to minimum 16 million. But we can shoot beyond that and that will give us opportunity to do massive party. So enough of this. Let me not bore you with my community. Let me just move straight towards your year to watch. So we also have a good one. Let's look at some other stocks that did well after Nemit and Stellenbach. We have Maya. Maya is one hot stock, guys. I gave my community when this stock was very, very low. But the challenge is the stock is not liquid. The owners don't want to sell it. So that is why I gave them, I gave my community when it was far cheaper. It was far cheaper. It was two, it was below two when I gave my community. But it's actually difficult to buy, guys. You can't buy these stocks, guy. You can't. It's so scarce. And you know my community, a lot of us, we trade volume. So you don't want to bring 20 million into this kind of stock. It won't, it will be challenging for you to sell. So that's Maya for you. Let's look at another stocks that did. Let us talk about the 9%. PZ did well. Uh, I know PZ will do it well, but something kept me away. It's because they are planning the listing. And I was just wondering, even though they are planning the listing around this area here, and still, it still showed up to this point. Because I was actually following the stocks. And um, let me do this so that, uh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. I was following the stock. And so now, now is a good one. Uh, the all time I is actually 60 and it's currently 36. So, of course, this is too high. The best time to catch this is around this area. So, it might go up more than this, but personally, my kind of trading, I want to get it very, very low so that I will not be afraid of any, any down uh, market. So, I don't want to be caught. So, I have enough cash in my uh, trading account right now, um, taking opportunities as it as they present themselves so let's look at uh, another uh, company Cadbury also Cadbury result was so 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 bad it's so bad but you know there is a way you trade bad result also <laughs> so let's look at uh, I think I saw Cadbury around this area okay let me just search for it um, Cadbury so this is Cadbury Cadbury came from the 16 level exactly 16 level and shoot up to this point and guess what guys is back again it's back again came back to this place to come and suck the liquidity here in the supply and demand zone and currently is gathering momentum because of the little push we saw we saw it coming up again so maybe this is an opportunity for those who uh, actually the challenge of all these stocks let me tell you those who bought in this area they won't allow you to get to this point because it will be annoying, guys. It will be annoying. So most of the time when people sell stocks in the market, not that maybe the stock has issues. It's just that they are just angry. That I've been holding this stock for many months. Does not move. It will just say, okay, support the law. It don't go. You understand? Just sell like that. And just sell like that. And uh, 
those in the market who understand these things will just take advantage of it so another cool one is um, the the big boys the elephants you know first bank so first bank 26 uh, let's see what happened let's see what happened let's launch it yeah so so first bank 26 came down from 26 came down to this point can you imagine and went back up again these are opportunities guys 29 you see 31 so by t by by monday if first bank gained um 10 um, so that would be 26 27 28 that would be 2880. Sorry, 67. Yes, 2880. That is if it gained 10%. If those who were not in the market on Friday did not dump. You know, when people are dumping, some people are buying. It's just a sweet market. When everything is on full offer, people are still buying. We're wondering why what are they buying? What are they buying when everybody is dumping? What did they know that you don't know? That is how the market works. No matter how the market is down you see people still loading so let's look at champs also champs did some good numbers um which was um a good one from their side uh you can see we've been tracking champs for long i broke this trend line in this area that's bad and you regain it back uh, i think maybe this is a sell opportunity and it closed at 290 uh, that's the region yeah 290 so that's when it closed so if it's good gain another be looking at three something so you have to be very careful if you have champs you want to watch very well as the market unfold and see what you can do with champs so you can see support support uh, come to this place and bounce up so uh -huh, so so let's look at some other stock that did well guys uh, this is cornerstone insurance uh, we have Unity Bank, we have Orlando, we have um, MC Nikos, we have Sonu Assurance, we have Ikeja Hotel, we have Guinea Insurance, we have Fidelity, Julie, we have Wapik. Guys, these stocks are just amazing. Let's see. Uh, let's look for top losers, um, biggest losers. Let's see who are those that are losing. So John Holt lost ten percent. Morris, Son Industry, Name Insurance, Deep Cap, uh, Computer Warehouse, Linkage Insurance, Nigeria Aviation Handling, FT Coco, UCAP, Stan Big. So these are the biggest loser. These are the biggest loser. Don't forget, some losers are actually uh, buying opportunity, but you want to be smart. You don't want to catch a falling knife. So this is Stambik. Stambik came back to where it picked that race from. You can see this area is actually a, a very strong zone, guys. This area is a strong zone. Okay, no wonder. This area is a strong zone. Oh. This area is a strong zone. Look at it. So guys, that is Stambik for you. It came down to support area, yeah. It has always been his normal habits. So if you break this, it's going to come down. It's going to come back to this region here. Yeah. So it's going to come back to this region. So this was where he broke it, uh, came to this place. And this is a um, head and shoulder pattern. So any next move here now, normally, based on this chart Stambik should come to this place so Stambik should lost another should lose some points and come down to this place so guys i just i should update you guys the, um, quickly on what is happening in the market um this is new month let's ensure we make cool money and let's ensure we trade with our brain not with our heart so you want to follow your chart don't follow your heart so guys without wasting time you're welcome to the Investor's Palace, and my name is Investor Joseph. So until I come your way again, keep making money and keep protecting your profit. I love you all, my friends. Bye.